Hi, um, well I'm at my 20 year survey exhibition at the Warrnambool Art Gallery, A Quiet Place. Um, it's looking at oil paintings and drawings that I've done over the last 20 years or a selection of, which we've borrowed from private and public collections throughout Australia. Um, I'm just standing in front of Blue Cypress, which was actually painted in 2012 uh, in my Dubai studio because I had an exhibition coming up at Austin Linden Gallery in Sydney. Um, so this, in this painting I was getting more interested, just really looking at the quality of light and, um, and the silhouette, a bit more dramatic the silhouette of the tops of the pines. Uh, and similarly in this one here, winter light, southwest. Um, and just moving across to, these are some of my snow landscapes which I did in 2010. Um, this came from a time when I'd been living in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. So amongst the heat and the desert and uh, we did a trip to Scotland and, and England and was just so struck by the, the, the snow landscapes and I love the way that they took out some details and sort of that less is more thing and um, they really just accentuated the, the light and also the contrast of the cypress trees and the way they stood out in the landscape so I was completely inspired um, by them and that sort of led to a series of um, paintings of snow landscapes. It was a bit of a challenge at first because I had never painted snow, um, but um, it was exciting and that was, that was also good to work on things that you hadn't done before. But just looking around the, um, the exhibition, um, a lot of the works um, are based on uh, landscapes from southwest Victoria. Um, in the Western District, which is an area where I grew up, and um, so the farming sort of landscape has inspired a lot of the work um, over the last 20 years or so. The work is starting to move in a different direction now, um, especially after living in Dubai. Um, I was very influenced there by the quality of light, really striking light, sunshine every day, and obviously that brings lots of shadows and. Um, the shadow work from the, the plants around the gardens that I was seeing and the Arabic lanterns and the, 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 the shadows that they cast. Um, so my attention really went into the details and the minute, whereas before I was often looking at vast landscapes. Um, and so at present my work is sort of evolving, um, moving into more looking at intimate details of nature and um, focusing on the quality of light and, and shadow. So although, although the, the, the themes are sort of similar, the imagery has changed um, to uh, looking more at the details and also um, some work I've done on the southwest Victorian coast, um, the Twelve Apostles. Um, we'll just move over to them now. So this series of work was done when I first arrived back in Australia after living in Dubai for several years and I think I was just so struck by um, just the dramatic landscape again, um, especially after living in the desert. So it was just a, a subject matter that I really wanted to tackle. And But I, I do feel like these works were informed by the works that I did in Dubai with the um, shadow and light and Arabic lanterns and leaves, just the way I've sort of silhouetted the cliffs in a really jet velvety black and contrasted that against the more sort of ethereal and, and filtering sort of light on the water. So that's been something really um, exciting for me to explore. Um, and in this exhibition there is uh, one or two examples of the work that I did in Dubai, this um, Arabic lantern from uh, Abu Dhabi, the Shangri-La. But I love the way it just casts the shadows over the, the ceiling and the wall. And so that, just looking at these things has, has begun to um, inspire me into a whole new series. Uh, and these charcoals here are uh, again of the bougainvillea leaves of the, the shadows. So this is the first work I did on this series and at the moment um, I'm sort of exploring that a lot further in the work. But um, in a lot of the years prior to that it was the more um, Lands, traditional landscapes, the, the often solitary tree in a sort of more moody atmospheric landscape which was really influenced by looking at um, the weather conditions and my experience of growing up in Victoria. 
And um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet of the, the exhibition, which has been running for four months at the Warnville Art Gallery. Um, and um, thanks very much.